Hey, this is James, and I'm here to tell you why you shouldn't go to Niseko. Although this was the greatest year in recent history to have gone to Niseko, during normal year, I wouldn't recommend it. Here's why. Niseko is crowded. That's no secret. But why is it so crowded? And what makes it so famous? It's because this tiny little country called Australia is full of these people with no snow of their own who come to Japan to experience powder snow. And if you've noticed, there is a lot of it. This is why you don't ski. <laughs> In coming to Japan, only to realize you've landed in a village full of Australian people. Everything's written in English. Are you really in Japan? I'd say no. You've landed in a neo-Australian area inside of Japan. Niseko's flat. That might be one of the hidden secrets. Nobody tells you before you come. Bring the longest board you can, or buy a Gentum stick, a specially made board for Niseko, because you're going to get stuck. It snows so it. much that you're likely to not have a good time. It's expensive. The lift passes at Niseko United cost upwards of $80, 8,000 yen, which is cheap for American standards. But if you factor in that you're probably only going to get a few rides every day because the lift lines are so incredibly long at Niseko and you're going to wait for up to two hours per line, I'd say stay away. Now, if you are going to come to Niseko, I'll tell you how I did it. And this is the number one method for scoring untracked lines in Niseko. You're going to want to stay at least two weeks if you do go to Niseko. There's enough terrain to keep you happy, enough onsens, enough restaurants, enough things to do. So you're going to enjoy yourself at least an hour before the lifts open. Because if you don't, well, none of that snow is yours. It's already been tracked out. If you're there at 8.30 when the lifts open, you're going to ride the lift at 9.30. There's a lift pass for Niseko United. Niseko, Hanazono, and Hirafu. That's just a 30-hour pass or a 50-hour pass. Now this pass, once you go through that first lift, your hour starts. You have one hour to ride the lift as many times as you want before that hour ends. Now, say you've hit that last lift at 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Beep, you've gone in. You're good, you're still on that first hour. Now you can hike all the way to the top of the mountain and ride down, and then hike out, then ride down again. Now let's say you're at about an hour 40 minutes, just off that first hour. I got 15 solid days of riding at Niseko off this $300, you know, 30,000 yen pass. This is the best deal in the history of snowboarding. 